Hi guys, <clears throat> back here with another video. Sorry, I have to stand outside. It's a little uh, commotion going on in my house. I hope everyone is having a good day. Um, I'm going to get right into it. I do think Vancouver could benefit by having a more green infrastructure, and mainly because in 2008, the mayor that was selected, he made a very big promise that by 20, 2015, pushing to 2020, that the city would be considered one of the most sustainable and the greenest and uh as you as you know that that isn't going to be changed just by one man and one promise it takes a community to get behind these policies and also takes everyone uh taking the time to educate themselves on this type of environment that could be beneficial to them um they have started off with some great things as far as minimizing their waste production and the um gases that is released from those plants which helps a lot especially in the metro area there's about 2.4 million people just alone in the metro area and uh, reducing those carbon those carbon footprints just alone from the the plants does a great does a great deal but as we all know there's way more benefits when you have a green infrastructure um, a few things that they can really implement that you see a lot of cities do and I always reference to Denmark Copenhagen or Comark, Copenhagen and Denmark excuse me um, green roofs and rain gardens to uh, just um, attract most of that rainfall and reuse it. Um, Denmark is, is catching about 80% of some water that is fallen and that they are reusing. Um, your daylight streams, your, your green walls, where you have mostly your plants and your ferns all over your walls that help with the oxygen levels and things like that. Your pebble, your permeable paving, which is the type of asphalt that allows the water to run off into the soil um, instead of just catching and standing and drying up. And then you have your urban tree canopies um, where it's, it's pretty much just a shade of trees. And obviously you, you can go and get trees and plant them, but it takes times of those trees to actually make its way over. Um, some of the, the greatest benefits you see from this is obviously the quality of life, the human health, um, more recreational spaces for people to go outside and spend time with their families, do games. Um, it can be cost effective at first, but once you get the system down and running, it will actually save you money in the long term. Um, obviously, water quality, being able to save or use some of that water is pretty important. Um, and as well, uh, your air quality. And I think that's one of the biggest reasons why most places should, especially our city, our city in Vancouver, to use more of those green infrastructures and green spaces because of the air quality. Um, just as much as we want to make it a green space, there are people out there that want the exact opposite. So there's going to be a constant battle to get everyone on the same page. But um, if you're looking at the bigger picture, it's all about improving what we have now for the generation under us and having a green infrastructure in our city can do it. In our city, Vancouver, Vancouver could do a great deal.